Well, how you doing, sir? How are you today? I'm 91. <laughs> so you're doing not today, very, not but, today but yeah, for right, 91 yeah. days, yeah, or 91 years. Yeah. Um, so for the folks at home who may not know you, uh, could you introduce yourself um, for us and uh, tell us a little bit about um, your life, your career, and... Um... Okay, uh, my name is John Ferrara. I'm an artist. I was born in New Haven, Connecticut, and uh, went in the Navy to, to prevent being drafted in the Army. Became a photographer for Stars and Stripes. Uh, during the Korean War. Uh, I had the pleasure of uh, photographing Liz Taylor's wedding with Nikki Hilton in Cannes, France. Uh, went from there to National Geographic. Aerial, I photographed Columbia. I was an aerial photographer for the thing. And then in, I worked with uh, a lot of special people. Uh, Barbera from Hannah and Barbera. Went to New York, tried to get into the, I was interested in stage design. So I tried to get into the union and it's a Carpenter's union. Uh, uh, you know, it doesn't uh, sound right, but uh, that. And it was quite political, so I didn't make it there. So, Pratt Institute, the GI Bill, I went to Pratt Institute. After a semester, uh, I left and worked off Broadway on the Three Penny Opera, which was a repertory theater, where one day you would be. Lucy Brown, and the next day you'd be someone else. Mac would be Mac the Knife. So it was a revolving repertory theater. Uh, I met Lee Krasner there. Lee Krasner is Pollock's wife. Mm -hmm. And she had a school there, and I attended, took classes there. Left and went to Webster, Mass. Uh, they had uh, Jacquard Loom there, which produced tapestries. And I was, it was like a p player piano. You put a tape in it, and it produces a design. Uh, well, uh, that didn't work out. So Buzz Crawford, who ran Stevens Linen, had uh, machines that just made linen toweling. And the toweling was, you know, when the men's room used to have pulled down the towel? Right. Well, that wasn't sanitary, so they did away with that. So we didn't know what to do with the linen. So we developed a calendar towel, which was a calendar, had a design on it. You hung it on the wall, and when it was year was over, you used it as a dish towel. Probably everyone here is familiar with Stevens Linen. Uh, from there, uh, I came to Ashland, Mass. I moved to Ashland, Mass. I was married, and uh, so we eventually ended up in Sturbridge. And uh, we had four boys, and uh, my wife passed away at 44. I remarried several years later. And uh, the dedication of this show is to my two wives, because without them, I wouldn't have been able to do the body of work. Now, I was a working artist for 60 years, not a teacher, not a working artist. I didn't have a job and come home and do something else. So. Uh, the word prolific has been tossed at me many times. From there, I met a friend and I did a dedication, and we'll cover that when you 
uh, Will Hicks. He was a prominent AO. scientist in town here. With the past. AO, correct? Huh? With the AO? He, we started with the AO, and mm -hmm. then he had a conflict with the AO, and he went on his own and started uh, Galileo Park. Well, he was a patron of mine uh, for many, many years. I came in, uh, into Sturbridge in 57, and just after the flood, he gave me uh, many opportunities to do sculpture and financed a lot of things for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was given a lot of grants, uh, Smith College, Leonard Vaskin. So I used to do uh, placemats and uh, silk screen. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was a derivative of Stevens linen. Right. I used to buy the linen from them and make ornate placemats uh, and art, of course. And from there, um, I'm here. <laughs> so everything that we see here is inspired by the two wives you have, or is it a collection no, of many collection, other? No, this collection, no. Well, yeah. this started, I'm blind. Oh, OK. Uh, well, for all intent, I've got severe macro degeneration. Uh, so I wanted, I have a family, my son in Texas, who, and he has three daughters who have three great-grandchildren, and they're coming the 23rd. Uh, I would have done uh, mother and child. I can fill this with mother and child. Just uh, psychiatrists might wonder why, but uh, my wives love them, and, uh, and so do I. Uh, and I have one here, uh, well, especially proud of. This, this girl is named Betty. Deaf and dumb. She's had a dance recital. I was shocked not having girls and had boys with no maladies that every 15 seconds she would yell and uh, she was, so the representation here is what she could have been. Mm. And uh, art to me, I'm a portrait artist. Uh, so I was very, very touched by that. I've done all of Shakespeare's plays. All of Dickens' major works, and uh, some kind of esoteric quality, because if you haven't read the classics, you're you're lost. Right. And I have uh, many thousands of works. Uh, the baseball. Now I have a complete show of baseball. Everyone in the Hall of Fame. Uh, it, it's a commercial thing, the drawings, and uh, this blank thing you see here is that the argument, oh, my kids were great baseball players. We won the state championship at Tantasqua. Uh, that was our big thing. So. The blanks you see here are what everyone imagines the best team was. Who was the best center field? Well, in St. Louis, it's different. In Philadelphia, it's different. In uh, New York, it's different. So you pick from the Hall of Famers, and you assemble your own team. So were you doing this? Did you, were you filling this each year? Hmm? Were you essentially recreating the images each year for these No, players? these are all rookie, all rookie pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, the Reds, I, I, I put Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. 
I took that liberty. And I have a, a, a boats at uh, Block Island. Uh, I've been doing boats for years. Uh, you, you got your Boston guys there too, though, I see. Hmm? Yeah, I, I did the Boston team. Yeah. The first time they did the, you know, they won. They won, you know, right, yeah. right. Yeah. No, and I stuck Yaz, and Yaz is in there too, in the, in the, in the Hall of Fame. Oh, awesome. Thing. I made that exception. Now, uh, Mrs. Yawkey, uh, through the Jimmy Fund, mm -hmm. has uh, the, a, a portrait of uh, Yaz mm -hmm. that I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was through Freddie De Gregorio in town here was very active in uh, Jimmy Fund. So this body of work that we're looking at, or that, are, that we'll hope to also kind of uh, show our audience, um, it's, you said it's 60 years? 60. 60. Yeah. Um, the legacy that you would leave behind with, with your artwork, what, what could you say that in a few words if you could? I would say that, well, ironically, art is still a mystery to me. I'm all about melancholy and payoffs. Okay. Pathos, I'm sorry. Most of, uh, uh, there's, perhaps we go around the room here, there's uh, Don Quixote in Sancho Panzas. And now, if you look at Don Quixote, he's no helmet on, there's no windmills. But the melancholy in his face hmm. is what I'm looking for. So the feeling that, that you try to invoke in your artwork, that's, mm -hmm. that's the... Yeah. Yeah. Got it. All right. Uh, I also want to, without my friend Dory and her husband Tom and Jim Corbin and Kevin, uh, I did practically nothing. I was in the way here. Uh, so this, I, w I want... Them to, to let them know, to let the audience know that yeah. that is who uh, right. has helped. Well, let me add this. Sure. Uh, every artist has a quirk of some kind, and mine is that I cannot work from an easel. Hmm. I have to stand and work flat on the table, and there's a distortion in that. Now, I have done live subjects. My that's, that is my daughter-in-law. And, uh, but most of mine are historical. I mean, uh, you know, Ben Franklin isn't around. Um, so most of mine are taken from photos. No, we, we're dealing here with parts of my family and music and literature. Literature, okay. Yeah, I do notice a lot of, I see literature. I saw the Moby Dick one behind you and uh, a well, few, a few celebrities to lighten, well. the, to lighten the show up, we got Sharon here, you know, and uh, she's a music person. But I've got a lot of, you know, and that's just a labor of love.